Welcome to Affinity Photo. Today we're looking at adjustment layers. Now adjustment layers are a non-destructive approach to modifying the tone and color of your images. They can be masked and also have blend modes applied to them, so you can use them in a number of ways. So first, if we look under adjustment layers, we'll look at black and white adjustment. Now under the black and white adjustment, you have control over the strength of each color channel. So for an image like this, that has quite a varied palette of colors, you can craft something quite unique. So we'll bring out the reds, tone down the yellows a bit, and the blues, which account for much of the background and sky, we'll keep at a, a midway point. So if I turn the layer off, you can see the before and after. Another useful adjustment is white balance. Now here this image is quite warm and we also have a, a mixed temperature sky, but we can just cool down the image a bit. Now this can either be a functional use or a creative use. In this case, it's more creative. We can also adjust the tint, which helps us compensate for color casts, either magenta or green. Again, you can see the before and after. There's also hue, saturation and lightness available, which is abbreviated to HSL. So in this image, we can tone down the saturation somewhat if we decide that it's perhaps a bit too punchy for our tastes. But photo also includes the choice between an HSL model and HSV, which is hue saturation value. And basically this is a different way of treating the saturation and luminosity shift sliders. So we'll see once we've checked HSV, decreasing the saturation also increases the brightness. If we uncheck and go back to HSL, we've reduced the saturation without affecting the brightness. So it's up to you to find which model works better for what you're trying to achieve. Once again, before and after. Finally then, we're gonna look at the exposure adjustment. You can drag it to the left to reduce exposure, drag it to the right to increase exposure. Fairly straightforward. But what I want to show you is that you can nest adjustments and filters within layers very easily. So in this case, we've got a pixel layer, which is actually the cloud detail. And I can click drag this adjustment, hover it over this layer, and we'll see a nesting offer here. I can release the mouse button, and it's added it to this layer. So now, if I go in and adjust it, we can see it's only affecting the sky. And once again, you can turn this adjustment on and off to see the difference. And if I go ahead and add another adjustment layer here, we'll see that because I already had an adjustment selected that was nested, it's automatically nested this new adjustment that I've added. So once again, we can perhaps increase the saturation. And we've now got two nested layers, which we can turn off and on individually, or we can just turn the whole layer off. Finally then, adjustment layers are accessible from other areas of the UI. So we've got the layers panel, where if we click here, we have a choice of adjustments that we can add. And furthermore, we can switch to the adjustment panel. And if we navigate down and pick an adjustment, such as gradient map, we also have a series of presets that we can choose between. Clicking them will automatically apply the settings to the adjustment layer. So do experiment with all the adjustment layers available. You can use them for creative and practical purposes, 
and of course you can apply blend modes, blend ranges and masking to them. Thank you for watching.